Oh boy, you know when you hear this beat, you know it's about to go down. If you never knew, literally for the five minutes we are just listening to this music, I am behind the scenes just ripping up the dance floor. I dance so hard. <laughs> this music is on. You know it's going to get good. You know things are about to go down. Let's get it. G'day there. Welcome back to the race side. I am thrilled to be back for uh, the second last time we will be here doing this discussion in this way. Very sad, but we won't linger on it too long. We'll look at the positives of the great show we get to be discussing uh, today we have been for the past few weeks. It's gonna be a great day as always. We're gonna whip the whiteboard out. We're gonna we're gonna analyze actually the predictions we set last week uh, for the well not last week it was this week but for the episode. We're gonna judge them. We're gonna figure out who said what, and then we're gonna have a great time uh, analyzing, dissecting the rest of the episode of episode seven because this this episode had a lot of differing opinions. Uh, especially yours to mine for some of you, for some of you, but for some of you, I agree with you. Uh, so it's going to be a great show. We're going to have a great time. Uh, I will make sure of that before we go any further. Ray Cool, who the hell is here? What is happening? Who's in the chat? Let's find out. We've got DB, we've got Brady, Lightning's here, Tim's here, Master Kyle's in the chat, Darth Nicholas. We've got double A's here, Angelina's here, Master Sin's here, Andrew's been a member for three months, baby! Hey there, I'm excited to talk Ahsoka F7, I'm excited that you're here to talk about it with us, Andrew, thank you for dropping in. Uh, JS in the chat, Zami's here, love to see it, Master Yav is here, uh, I can't read the names quick enough. Jason's back for more, David's in the chat, great to see you around, Dave's here, Rattlesharks here, Tim's here, Robert's here. Oh, you know, out of breath already. It's going to be a great show. Brooke and Gaffy's here as well. So shook, yeah. Discord chat, watching the horror movies last night. Pile it on. Pile it on. Uh, great that we're here. I'm so, I'm so thrilled. It's going to be a great show. Um, we're going to start and warm up as we usually do. We're going to jump into our initial thoughts of this episode. Because if you were here for our watch party... I was overwhelmingly happy about this uh, this episode. Uh, if you're with me in the watch party, you would know that. If you watched my uh, review video, you'll know that. I really uh, genuinely enjoyed this episode quite a lot. Uh, but to my surprise, a lot of people saying it was not as eventful, a bit of a letdown, maybe a bit of a plateau. So all opinions welcome here. Let's get into it. Let's get into your thoughts. So lay it on me, just trying to summarize 
uh, your initial thoughts and, and review of this episode in a sentence for me. Lay it on me. Would love to know what you thought of episode seven of Ahsoka. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, baby. I'm not doing a recap of that movie. Yeah, ho hopefully not. Hopefully not. CG is in here as well. Uh, the sender is still a dick. Yeah, he is. He is. He is so rude and cutthroat. Yeah, he's, he's not a cool guy. But, uh, I mean, that's when you know a character is good, when everyone hates the character. Uh, so, that well done there. Well done. So much just the <laughs> re reaction of the... That's hilarious. That is so funny. Hey Lee, how you doing? Hi Ray. My family and I love your enthusiasm for Star Wars, especially Ep 7, which we all loved it as much as you did. Ah, see? I knew there was someone out there. I knew there was some people out there. Uh, appreciate you, uh, you, Lee, tuning in and watching the content. Your family, I love that your family is even loving it. Thank you so much. Appreciate the encouragement. Uh, Sag coming in, starting off the night with a two dollar reduce. Appreciate you, Sag. Thank you so much uh, for dropping. You're kind of early. You're often dropping like halfway through a show, but you're here like on time. That's impressive. Amazing. Uh, all the elements of a great, st all the elements. I just think I mumbled that one. Uh, of a great Star Wars episode for me, says Lightning. Uh, Master Kyle saying, honestly, love the episode. Can't wait for the finale. So, uh, yeah, I really feel like there's two sides with this episode. There's like, the people like, this is Star Wars greatness. And then, um, Boring they didn't, is, that, is this about the episode? As in like the episode didn't take off or like they literally didn't take off? Was that what you were expecting? My review, episode 8 needs to come quicker. That's a good review. Fair enough, I agree with that. Oh, oh, oh. See Darth Nicholas, okay, so let's get into the when people aren't liking. It, and if, I'll just say this, if if your ranking of this episode is like a 4, 5, 6, like mid, uh, I would love to know why. Lay it on me. Uh, Darth Nicholas. This episode didn't land for me like the last three. I thought it was okay. Six out of ten. Overall, Ahsoka has been a hit or miss for me. Really? So it hasn't been quite consistent for you, Nicholas? It's been a little bit up and down. Fair enough. Fair enough. David saying, overall, I'd give it a seven out of ten. Definitely had a lot of bright spots, but I just think some of the choreography is stiff for the episode before the series finale. I thought it was abrupt. Fair enough. Fair take. Uh, Sag coming in saying, pretty good episode. But I wish Ezra did more with the Force. Plus, Thrawn, Thrawn's plan was a bit simple. And this episode really did Thrawn no justice. Uh, I like Shin not joining them, though. Seven out of ten. There are a lot of elements of, like, moving parts. What Thrawn's thinking, his plan, and then Shin's decision. We do have a lot to get into. Uh, and you hit a lot of those notes, Sage. Absolutely. Hey, Mark. Mark's in the chat as well. <gasps> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> SBC. Coming in saying I hope a Purgle swallows that senator in the finale. And then just, he should be the guy that gets left in the galaxy. That should be the guy. Julie coming in with a $10 reduce. Thank you so much, Julie. I hope you're feeling better having undergone surgery, if you hadn't known this week, on an ankle. It's looking gnarly. The couple of photos you sent through, it's looking real gnarly. So you're an absolute trooper. We hope you're feeling better. Um, and on the mend, hopefully. Hopefully, just just kick back and relax. Honestly, honestly. But thank you for the love, Julie. Appreciate you as always. Uh, Jason, here we go. L love it. Uh, I've, I've evolved my thoughts a bit after watching a few other reviews. While I think it'll still be an 8, it's not a 9.5 or a 10. Uh, this episode needed more nuanced dialogue between the characters. See, I felt like there was quite a bit of nuance for me. I Like, I, I felt... I felt the nuance. I felt the effect between the characters. But, good opinion. Fair take. Fair take. Uh, Julie with the dollar reduce. You betcha. You betcha. She's coming in with those dollar reduce. Okay. You're also agreeing Ahsoka has been a hit or miss. That's really interesting. Because I felt like it's been fairly consistent. But, uh, I don't know. Other people have other ex uh, expectations. Uh, Master Yava. Hello, Master Yava. Uh, nothing like a Master Stream and an after party. Yes, yesterday was phenomenal. We had a great time with our exclusive Master Chats. It was really, really fun. We had a great time. Uh, it was just awesome time connecting with other Souls fans, wasn't it? Uh, we had a bit of an after party in the Discord too. That, that went into such a fantastic direction. I loved it. I loved it. Uh, my prediction is, uh, my prediction of Dead Purgle for the uh, Barbie didn't pan out. Good pun there, Pen. Uh, yeah, it didn't pan out. 
I'm assuming no Purgle died. Did any Purgle die? I don't think so. I don't think so. Anthony coming in saying four, five, and six was peak so far. Yeah, they were definitely the most uh, intriguing and probably impactful. I would agree with that. Yes. Uh, the action felt disappointingly tensionless in this episode. I do have a little bit of comments. Yeah, there's, there's something about... And I, I forget who it was. It might have been Kirsty in the watch party, perhaps, uh, saying that there was just there's probably not enough stakes at that time. There was not enough like on the line for what they were fighting for. Um, I felt that quite a bit with the Balin Ahsoka duel. I was like, fair enough, they're against each other, but also why? Like, w there should have maybe been a bit more reason to why they were dueling then. This episode was okay and mid compared to the previous two, says Double A. I give it a 6.5, just like, why was it slow? Uh, and the court scene with Hera and Mon Mothma was unnecessary due to lack of time wasted. See, that's really interesting. If you if you saw my uh, review video of this episode, um, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. And, I, and this does come down to taste, especially things like this. It does come down to taste. Uh, and I said this in the review. I, I'm a real big fan of the... of Honestly, almost every Clone Wars arc, bar maybe like two. Um, and I really love the political type of episodes that we get in, in a lot of Clone Wars. There's a, obviously, there's a lot with Mandalore. And the stuff we get from Mandalore, with, besides the mall on Mandalore, uh, is all political. It's all senatorial, who's in charge, and that kind of, dis that kind of um, journey. Um, we get a sight into that. And... Um, then we get a lot of stuff with Padme in, on, on Coruscant with the Senate, uh, Uncle Arno, like things on, um, what's that freaking planet called? But we just get a lot of political episodes of Clone Wars, and I really love those episodes. So this courtroom scene to me felt like uh, a scene out of a Clone Wars episode, so I really, really enjoyed it. And I, I wanted much more of it. I really wanted much more of the uh, the, the courtroom scene with, with Mon Mothma and Hera. I think it's such a fascinating side of Star Wars. Hey Angelina, great to see you. Master Kyle coming in with the two dollar redos. Just wanted to, uh, to hear another dollar redos. It's a classic. It's a classic. Ted coming in, watched it a second time just now. Still a ten out of ten for me. See that? It's so fascinating. The difference in, uh, like the difference of uh, you know rankings we got for this episode. Uh, but there you go. Ted's given it a ten out of ten. Uh, I don't think it's Abeloth. Absolutely not. No, I'm like pretty strongly against that. It's Ab Abeloth. Most of Jules and gunplay fell flat this episode, and I've, like I said before, lacked enough attention. I like the curry of the fight and the battle, but I didn't like, yeah, I agree with you with the tension. I agree with you with the tension. Jason. Parasol was too quick. It was just uh, black or white, so Xeno should have been a little more open to the threat, uh, but pushed the fact that she broke the rules and they couldn't, they can't afford that. Yeah. I, and I agree with you there. It was a too quick. I would have loved it. Just a little, like, just a few more lines, a bit more of the conversation there. Be very, very interesting. Tim, I still like the episode. Anthony says second time around was, de uh, second time around was definitely, like, better. Good, good I'm assuming. Uh, first two episodes were mad. The acting in the beginning was too stiff for my liking. Fair enough. JS, but you thought, uh, but yeah, I thought the episode was really good. I think Ezra not using his saber was cool. Really gave um, I am one with the force and the forces with me vibes and showing the amount of power he has. Yes, I actually made a tweet just a little while ago. You probably saw it. Um, I really like this. Before we get into it, uh, d d I really like the idea of, of Ezra not wielding or accepting the, the saber at this time. He hasn't had a saber, presumably. He presumably hasn't had a saber in like 10 years more. Um, but he's had the Force. He's probably done a lot of meditating, a lot of, ex like, just being aware of the Force and, and probably grown a lot in, in the strength of the Force, but perhaps not as well with the Saber. Um, I just, I just think it makes sense. It's like, oh yeah, this makes sense. I think it's really cool. I, th I think seeing the way he used it was really, really cool. So I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I literally saw a comment, Ezra's more powerful than everyone. Oh, no, absolutely not. I literally fell over on the couch. Is that how you broke your ankle? Is that how it... That's why you had to get the surgery, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, but yeah, I, do, I definitely disagree with that. Definitely disagree. Everyone's definitely um, more powerful. 
<laughs> oh, I love it. The way the lightsaber uh, fights were shot and the choreography aren't as exciting as they can be. A well done example for me is Snoke's throne room jewel from The Last Jedi. Yes! I don't really know what the internet's consensus is about that, but I really enjoyed that jewel. I don't know. Yes, yes, we're, that was yes. That was the world between worlds. But then this coming uh, Sunday, we're gonna we're gonna be hanging out just us and the masters with Kyle, Master Kyle, the new master. It's gonna be very exciting. Uh, also, there has been no consequences uh, for anyone in anything they've done. Do Balin and Shin have feelings about splitting up? Uh, would it be nice for Ahsoka and Balin to have more involved? I agree. I think there should have been maybe throughout the season more to do with those two characters. Uh, Lightning, personally, I didn't need a big setup cliffhanger to get me excited for episode 8. The whole season has been one solid story leading to the finale. There was no penultimate letdown for me. I kind of agree with you. I didn't need a big, big kind of moment in this in this episode, I guess. Maybe that's why I didn't... Yeah, I, Maybe that's why I'm not let down either. I didn't really need a big moment here because the season's been very, very consistent and solid for me as well. Um, this, that's well put. That's well put, Lightning. We'll have to see the senator walk in the wrong airlock. <laughs> Such a great, like, threat. I'd be wrong, <laughs> walk into the wrong airlock. I uh, also didn't like seeing Ezra not taking his saber back. Okay, here's the conversation. But at least he didn't toss it behind, <laughs> like, the last Jedi would have pissed me off. It would have been, been very funny if he did that, actually. Very, very funny. Was good, uh, but seven minutes was way too long. What? I thought it wasn't long enough! Oh my god. Pop the bounty collector! There he is, coming in! Hello from Orlando! There's so many O's there, I feel like I should have done it like, Orlando! There we go. There's like, how many, there's like 10 O's. Uh, but hello, hey champion. Great, I'm so glad you're tuning in. Amazing. Just trying to be, you are being brave. You are brave, Julie. Uh, Serena, coming in. Good to see ya. Uh, I thought this episode wasn't the best. The action scenes weren't like the previous episode. Seeing Anakin again was awesome. Ezra actor was on point. Yeah, oh my god. Uh, like, Eamon's, like, performance and portrayal of Ezra is just so good, right? It's so good. Mark coming in with a hot take. We love a good hot take. Uh, Senator, Senator Douchebag. I, that, can that be his official name now? Uh, is definitely Imperial Remnant trying to downplay the threat. Ooh. Oh, maybe he's a spy and he's in, he knows it's happening and he's trying to be like, oh, that doesn't matter. Now that is a hot take and that's a cool theory. I like it. I like it. Uh, fans should appreciate the daunting task uh, that Filoni did his Star Wars masterful uh, self to tell a story with sometimes subtle callbacks to previous films, animations, games, books, books, and Filoni loves other films. Yeah, he's done a lot of callbacks, hasn't he? So many callbacks. Oh yeah, I can't wait for a big binge watch, hey. I love that uh, Balin and Shin have two paths now. Maybe Shin will turn. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I like, I never had the thought that Shin might turn and everyone's going, oh, you know, her, Ahsoka trains her. I like, I can't see her training. Uh, I can't see her turning. But we'll see. But I, I, I agree with you. I, I do like how it's two separate paths now. Uh, the one, the actual problem of the episode is the viewer needs to know whether or not uh, Sokka can just fly after Thrawn and not uh, fight at all, right? What is this question? What does that mean? The actual problem of the episode is the viewer needs to know whether or not Ahsoka can just fly after Thrawn. I think we already, but we already knew that going into this episode. Is that what you're saying? I think I know what you're saying. I don't know. Oh, yeah. People are agreeing with Mark with that theory. Julie Green, DB, agreeing as well. <sighs> oh, I don't know. I would have... It should be... Well, yeah, it depends how they did it. I would have loved to see Leia, though. I really thought she was coming in there. Because I've filled... He's written on everything... Anything on the current situation. Yeah, but at least they... She... He, like, knows what's happened now. Like, where, where's the Emperor at? What, like, happened? How did it end? At least he's up to date now. <sighs> oh, Jason did love... Uh, Ezra not taking the saber. Yeah, I thought it was a cool show of the use of force. For me, the senator keep denying about Thrawn returning was so annoying. Like, stop talking. Uh, I wanted him to shut up because probably he's a loyalist from the Empire. I like this theory. That's a real- I, I am loving this theory. 
Uh, what exactly was the dark magic that Thrawn used, uh, used towards the, this episode, the minefield? Um, did he use it? Are you referencing when he asked the mothers to use their magic again? I don't think it was for the mines. I don't think we did. We, we saw him use any dark magic in this episode. In my opinion. I don't. I don't. I'm, that's probably for next episode. I assume. Because the mines are just that. Because that, that was Morgan. He was like, "What did he say?" It's a really go, go kill them with prejudice. It's like, jeez, what a punchy line. That's cool. It's cool. Oh, you think so, Sag? That's a very interesting take. We should do... I definitely think after the show's done, we should have, like, a stream where we just, like, debate the strength of Jedi. We should try... We should rank all the strength of Jedi. That'll be... That'll be fun. I'd like that. I like that. Texas is here! I love it. I love it. So I'm trying to... I'm already, like, so behind. I'm so behind in the chats already. Star Wars Sith has been a member for four months? That's damn too long. Love it. I appreciate you being here. <laughs> Spoilers. Chopper kills Thrawn uh, before, in the finale. Done. That should be 100% th what, how it happens. Like, no one... It should be like Thrawn escapes everyone. Like, Ezra Sabine, uh, Ahsoka. Like, he escapes everyone. He's gotten away. He's about to blast off back into the galaxy. And then, like, Chopper comes in and is the one that kills him. I would love that. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Uh, Master Kyle coming in saying, I'm extremely curious how they end uh, how they end this. And if we will just get a plethora of crossovers in the final episode. Yeah, that's a great question, Kyle. I think... And we're going to have a blast theorizing what the hell this finale is going to look like. Um, it could be... Um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's either going to be a really big cliffhanger. So there is that need for a season two or the movie. Um, or it will kind of wrap up quite well. It's going to be really interested. In interesting, sorry. Uh, Appa is very tired. Well, glad you popped in anyway. I wish we knew more about what was calling to Balin. Hopefully that is answered next episode. I totally agree. I'm surprised we didn't see it this episode. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, it's so true. <laughs> Gotta be the Bendu. Serena's so been a member for seven months. My crikey. Loving these celebrations. Hope you're doing well. And I like and like your streams. Thank you so much, Serena. I love it when you pop in and give us your thoughts. Uh, always love the discussion you can bring. So thank you. Appreciate it. Seven months. Whoa. Dooly dooly. Uh, Tim had a dream that the Bendu showed up. The Bendu. I really need to get a stream deck so I can, like, uh, or just, the, you know, the voice change thing so I could. That will be the only thing I use it for. I would just put it down low and just, I am the Bendu. Oh, I'd love that. Um, where are we? Uh, 8 out of 10. For me. And only because I, uh, I feel like the Dragon Balance thing out a little much. Yes, I agree with that. Uh, without enough emotional build up for, the, f uh, for separating with uh, from Shin. Something I feel uh, is a consequence consequence of short seasons yeah i agree this it's definitely feels like this show should have been a 12 episode definitely think that uh episode i'm pretty sure senator douchebag is just a coward uh i think i remember him being like that in resistance yeah in in the resistance show uh he was like super against kaz um kind of like going and being with the resistance and joining the resistance he was super against him there so yeah, I don't think we're going to get a storyline where we, like, find him out now. Because he's like, oh, he's still with, like, the New Republic, like, 20 years after this. So, he's still around. There'll be so much to do, Double A. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Uh, the biggest disappointment uh, of this episode was Castle stopping Chopper from murdering Senator Douchebag and, add and adding another crime to his list. I, it was so good, too. It was just that, like, the just the... It was just so subtle. It was, it was so good. I love it. I love it. Uh, oh man, I'm so behind on the chest. I'm so sorry. Grandmother's uh, magic is very uh, much powerful than the Night Sister magic. That's true. Oh, you you know you want it, Sin. You know you want it. Come on, most most powerful Jedi. You know you want it. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. 
<laughs> it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. <laughs> hey, Brady. How you doing? Uh, if Chopper actually kills Thrawn, I will get a Chopper to do you. Oh, yeah. I'll Let's get a matching one. Let's get a matching one lightning if that happens. Ooh, that's actually a really cool idea. I will personally berate each one of you for your list. <laughs> that's not a bad idea, actually. Uh, love seeing Ezra in action. Scratch and itch I've had for years. Yeah, it, it's been really cool. And again, I do like this horse thing. It's it's very cool. Who said it before? It was like it's it was that you, Jess? Uh, I'm one with force force with me. Who is what's his name? Chirrut. That's his name, right? Chirrut from uh, Rogue One. Very like I felt like it was that energy, like what you said. Uh, the Noti, the little turtle creature aliens, are one of my favorites of Star Wars. They're pretty good. I like their language too. They're good little language. I'm gonna learn that one next. That'll be my next language. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part of the episode was the, was like the final shot and the little main one like gives his like little hand thing to Ezra and it was like holds his hand it's just like it was so bizarre it was so bizarre uh Jedi 2 ranking I ranked Ray and Reva ahead of Dooku oh no I didn't rank Reva that high did I? oh no I take that back I should probably redo it I probably have different thoughts I because I, I don't think that <laughs> man I, I'll judge myself uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Oh, I love it. I love it. I've never watched Resistance, but I'm told it's implied Zen uh, Senator Ziano is a First Order sympathizer since he wasn't present on the Hosnian Prime during its destruction. He, I don't know if he's a sympathizer, but he's definitely not for the Resistance. Not for it, but like, he doesn't love it. You know what I mean? Sid, you just... You're just spreading rumors now, Sin. Jesus. <laughs> was that was that good? Was it was my little notey language good? Yeah, true. He's cool. He's a cool guy. Eh? Um, whiteboard time. Time for the whiteboard. Let's go. Let's get in there. <laughs> oh, your girlfriend's got a chopper tattoo. Oh, damn. She's the one. Jesus, she's got a chopper tattoo. Bag that. Come on. Um, all right, let's get the let's get the whiteboard music on. Um, let's get into it. I never put these lights on. Damn it. Now, hang on. Is the music a little too loud today? How, how is it? It's a little loud. I know Sin City was probably complaining about the music, so I'll turn it down a little bit. Uh, now, I've actually left up your predictions from uh, from the countdown. I've left them on the board. I haven't rubbed them out because I want to figure out which of these were actually correct. Uh, so we're going to go through them right now. Okay. We thought of a lot. We thought of a lot. Mon Mothman doesn't age. That is so true. Um, we thought of a lot of things. I, oh, I, I lose freaking everything in this freaking office. Um, let's look at it. Let's look at it. I've given up. Is this still loud? I turned it. This is so quiet for you. Uh, okay, so let's talk about it. Uh, let's go from the top. So we didn't find anything more about the coffins. Uh, Thrawn escapes, but others leave others in the new galaxy. He has no escape. Yet. That'll probably be for the finale, if anything. Jim Balin get trapped. That didn't happen yet. Uh, Sabine kills Shin. No, no one died. Uh, Thrawn sees whole crime of Anakin. That's still a cool theory. I still like that one. That didn't happen. More witch magic. Oh, we, I mean, I guess that's true because we saw them like find where Ahsoka was. Their little laser pointer thing. I don't know. They're essentially just professors. The mothers are essentially just professors because they just use like a laser pointer, like pointer things they're talking about. Anyway, um, Ahsoka didn't say this is where the fun begins, but I felt like she could have, especially coming out of the whale and like the, uh, the minefield. She so could have said that. We, we did get Ahsoka versus Balin. Did anyone call that last episode? I think Angelina. I think Angelina, you said Ahsoka versus Thrawn, and I and maybe I added, or of Ahsoka Balin. Did anyone else call this? Um, Hera in trouble with the uh, New Republic. We did pretty much get that scene. We yes, that was pretty much the opening scene. We didn't get too much more of Captain Enoch. Uh, we didn't get Leia and hologram. We do. We did get Ezra. Oh, where have I gone? 
long was I, how long was I gone for? Hello? Okay, here we go. Oh, that's chaotic. Um, where the hell was I? How much, how much did you miss? Blue River. Oh my god, Mr. OJ's here in the chat. Oh, I love it. Uh, once you got in front of Ezra and Sabine and dropped that line. Oh, she should. Yeah, that would have been good. That would have been good. Um, Balin and the World Between Stone Lights. The only two is these two, I believe. Uh, Ahsoka versus Balin, we got, and Ahsoka and Ezra meet, we got. Ezra didn't shave his beard. Oh, and, and Hera in the New Republic. In trouble in the New Republic. We got three of them. Who called those? Who called those? I don't remember. It's like Uncle Harlow. Uncle Harlow. Uncle Harlow. I'm being censored. Yeah, true. Oh, I love it. Look at the fam. Look at the fam just going nuts. <laughs> don't don't play with me. Um, all right, but let's get into this question. <sighs> C3PO came. Oh, yeah. Did we, is that on the board? I don't think we put it on the board, but so, I think Julie, you let us know that that was um, Julie. Yeah, that was rumored or something. Um, okay. Taking an unusually long amount of time to get this off. I now understand why I do that off camera. It took so long. Oh, I love it. Three K subs felt like yesterday. It's a few weeks till four K. Yeah, my goal is my goal is, and we've only got like a week to do this. Um, is to get the 4k by the end of Ahsoka that's my goal what are we what are we now 3790 okay so I would need 210 so I don't know where that's gonna come from but that's my goal um if you aren't listening what well, I've got the music on I've got the, I do have the music on now actually uh all right let's get into it let's get into it we're gonna talk about what was the question I had oh my god Yeah, okay. I want we've kind of discussed this before, but I want to ask this. It's kind of like Survivor. Who will stay? Who will go? Oh, I love it. Stefan in the chat. Great to see you. Uh, we will get we will get there. We will get there. Ten sky mines from sin. <laughs> Ten incoming members. Get out of town. Get out of here. Sin dropping the generosity once again. Thank you so much, Sam. Appreciate it. Appreciate the support. Helps me up big time. Big time. Apo has been a member for seven months. My good God. Ahsoka dies. Get get out. Get out of here. Go back to bed. Why do you, it's why you sleep well. Don't, I don't sleep well anymore. Um, 
coming in with 10 extra newbie members. Appreciate that, Sin. They're going to have a great time. Are they? I don't know. Members, are they going to have a good time? Uh, I'm thinking of making the morning, Monday morning coffee sessions a, a regular regular thing. Uh, a part of the exclusive perks for, for all members. Because uh, that was a fun time we did that. That was hilarious. It's got the shoe chest for a rescue. Imagine. He, imagine. He's a beast, isn't he? <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, theory here is uh, get to the destroyer. Maybe see what's in the cargo. Uh, get off, fought the ship. Into with Thrawn and Co. Jumping away, leaving heroes. The last we see Balin is him walking into a cave slash temple. Ooh, okay. But that's good, actually. I like this. So I'm going to put um, Balin days. I'm going to put in brackets here, Jason. Um, by choice. I think he's going to stay by choice. I definitely think that's going to be the thing. Season 2 is called Thrawn. I would actually... I don't want Ahsoka to die, but that's kind of a cool theory. I would love season... F Imagine if it's like the same show, but just every season has a n different name. Be kind of cool. Uh, Morgan might die. Uh, is betrayed by Thrawn. Yeah, she's getting too, like, kind of sus. And, like, she questions Thrawn, and she's not really, like, trusting what he's doing. I think he's just going to be like, like, get out of here. Because um, she's not trusting enough. So, Thrawn... It was Morgan. Kirsty's here. Oh no, that's so sad. But I, I thank you for waking up in the damn middle of the night uh, to watch these streams. I insane, amazing. But thank you for dropping in. Appreciate you. We're so glad you're here. But uh, yeah, I like this theory. Someone's gonna die to by Thrawn. That would be, it would be a good, um, because I feel like then, if, if that's not explored in a second season or explored again, like, it's kind of okay. You know what I mean? Like, the, the Ahsoka ending in the end of season two of Rebels, like, that wasn't picked up until the finale of season four. Like, there was one and most of another season where that's never mentioned again. So it could be a similar thing. And especially with, uh, Rey passing away, uh, so early, I think, um, might be a good spot if, if if that is how his character ends. Might be a good spot for that storyline. Outlandish pick. Ezra stays with his turtle friends. Imagine, imagine. The naughty. It's their little language. Love it. Love it. Thrawn might die, Angelina? Do we think Thrawn's gonna die? Is Thrawn gonna die? It's all Sabine's fault, so they leave her. Sure. You know what? I kind of have this vibe. Like, she did, she has tried extra hard this whole time. Imagine if, like, she's the one that stays. Um, I'll just put here Sabine. Oh. Gets left. Um... What was the other one? Oh, Thrawn. This is hilarious. Oh, yeah. And what about that line? Where he's like, good feeling. I'm going home. I'm like, don't jinx it, bud. Come on. Yes, I would love that, Apo. 100%. Sabine and Shin will fall in love. One can dream and hope. Because now people come back. You know what? I love that. I love that. So I've got a we I keep getting confused whether to call it the old galaxy or the new galaxy because 
the, the, the normal, the normal galaxy is technically the old galaxy. But this new galaxy, it feels like it's older, like it's got more ancient vibes to it. So I was like, has this galaxy been around longer or like it been in existence longer? So I feel like she called that the older galaxy and then our normal one, the new one, but it's, it's actually the other way around. So that the old galaxy is is the normal one and the new galaxy is the one we've seen in the show. We've arrived to. Oh, gets me every time. <laughs> no way Thrawn is dying because Felani has a movie for him. In the world. Oh yeah, true. Good point. Good point. Uh, I think heroes and Balin. Uh, I think heroes and Balin and Shin will stay. Thrawn uh, and co return to be villains in the new Mando season. Ooh, that'd be interesting, actually. Zeb make an appearance. Yes, well, that's a good prediction. Yes. Yeah, I totally forgot about that factor. That's hilarious. Ahsoka will get left behind just Ahsoka. Jeez, you reckon? Just Ahsoka, so everyone leaves. Mmm. <sighs> I know, right? <laughs> General Kenobi in the chat. That's probably a good point. Well then, what do we call them? <coughs> the, yeah, I don't know what to call them. I always get confused. And everyone listening who is going to kick off or left behind, Felony already tied them to his new movie as having a part. Really? As in Balin and Shin like that? I reckon someone, someone's, at least one person's gonna start. I think Balin, I think Balin's gonna be stuck here. Ooh, that's deep, Dave. Since we're allowed to spin to grow in the next chapter of life. That's true. It's very, very true. <laughs> Again, go back to bed, damn it. <laughs> uh, Morgan gets left behind, that's it. I feel like that won't be punchy enough, though. That's not like, that's not like, whoa. You know what I mean? Jesus. OJ, come on. I'm starting to feel like no one will die. It goes with the fact that there's been no consequences all season for anyone. Mm, I feel like someone will die. I feel like it doesn't matter. Yeah, there we go. Main galaxy, side galaxy? I don't know. I don't think Thrawn's not gonna die. We're pretty confident in Angelina that Thrawn ain't gonna die because he's gonna be in the movie. So how is he in the movie if he can't die? Shin could be uh, the bad guy slash girl. Nice inclusivity there, Sin. Ten points. Uh, <laughs> in future projects. Um, yeah, for sure. I could. I would love to see her if she. That's why I'm like, like Pop. You said this before. Oh, Pop. Oh, it's funny calling you Pop. Uh, but like a bounty collector. Um, you said this before of like uh, Shin, like you hope she turns good. What do you guys think of that? Do you think, do you want Shin to turn? Um, yeah, what do you guys, do you guys want Shin to turn? Because I don't think she will. I, and I, because I like this from Sin, I think she could be some sort of villain in other projects. I think it'd be cool. <laughs> God, God, OJ. <laughs> Yeah, Master Kyle's on, on or something. If Thrawn dies, I'll start a riot. No, she hasn't. She's confused as double A. <laughs> Thrawn will turn the mother and, the, and turn in the mother and Morgan, and they will unleash their magic. Thrawn will turn. Oh, turn on? Turn on the mother? Uh, well, <laughs> I shouldn't have paused there. I shouldn't have paused there. <laughs> Thrawn will turn on the mother. <laughs> Thrawn will turn on the mother. Turn, oh, fuck. T turn the mother on 
the on on to, to Morgan to kill Morgan. Is that what you're saying? <sighs> I just I'm just gonna. Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> during the sequence. Well, he might be dead. But we'll see that probably in the movie, not in the show. Uh, Yava, I think, from makes it and uh, makes it through and meets Hera's fleet. Yeah, I reckon you could literally, if it's going to end on a cliffhanger, I think it'll probably be this, Yava. I, I think it's going to be what you're saying. And, like, she jumps there and then maybe there is a fleet there, like, waiting for them. I don't know. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the noties will uh, will help. Yeah, they will. They will. I'll try. <laughs> yeah, th throw on smooth with the night, ladies. <laughs> turn again. There we go. That's the sentence I was going for. Throne will turn against the mother and uh, and Morgan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Oh, I really struggled there. Oh, dude. Uh, Garrett's saying, uh, yes, Shin will turn to the to the side. Just the, to the race side. <laughs> She'll turn to the race side. The mic muted in that in that setting. Uh, turn to the race side. That's You, you didn't have to do it for me, brother. Uh, I live for a moment. We're gonna feel that chat. Uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I paused awkwardly in one of Julie's thoughts and just escalated. Uh, I think the heroes will remain to deal with whatever is speaking to Balin uh, that he unleashes. Season two could be dealing with that while uh, trying to return home. That could be. That could have some good storytelling in it. That could have some like good um, action and stories in it. So. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. <sighs> Muttered. <laughs> Muttered. <laughs> hey, John. John's in the chat. Great to see ya. Uh, what did you miss? Not too much. We're just talking about who will stay and who will go uh, in the galaxy. Of, of the old and the other the main and the other old one. Yeah. <coughs> Oh, uh, pretty much, pretty much. Oh, uh, yeah, that's okay. I think I'm making it worse, probably. <laughs> I haven't hit it. Uh, if any clones show up in Peridia, it would be Alpha 17 from Republic Comics. Uh, since the medical ship, uh, he was on hijack by, hijack by Ventress, who ordered the pilots to take it into the unknown. That'd be a deep connection, but that would be kind of, kind of crazy. Indiana Jones will make a guest appearance. That's hilarious. Uh, actually, yeah, what the hell is the cargo? We talked about it a bit. Uh, give me your weirdest... What is Thrawn's cargo? What is Thrawn's cargo? Thrawn is leaving everyone behind so calls drop. Ezra and Seb reunion? We we have to we had to yeah, hundred percent. We have to get that. It'd be weird if we don't get Seb. Uh Chandler, uh do you like episode seven? Yes, very much. Uh check out check out I'm assuming you've just come in, so but yes, uh I do, in short. But check out I have my I have my review video up uh, as well, so go watch that. Uh but I did very much. Dead people, says Brady. What else do we think? <laughs> More. <laughs> what does this even mean? More thrones like clones? Whoop. 
More thrones. Turtle eggs. Looking to have an undead turtle army. Blue crystal. Oh, we need Hondo. We need Hondo to show up in this last minute. Hondo, I can't believe you came all this way to see me. That's a, is that a pretty good Hondo? Is that a pretty good Hondo? Give me another Hondo line. Um, I, that's like the only Hondo quote I remember. I can't believe you came all this way to see me. <laughs> uh, Spotchka. Parody of Spotchka. Oh no, I ran out of space. What post? What post? I'll do, I'll do anything for that boy. I love that. Weaponry? Yeah, thrown with an army of thrones would be like that's a that's a formidable opponent. Single squad could destroy the New Republic in a day for sure, hundred percent, hundred percent. Prince Skywalker eagles all the pilots frozen in carbonite to control the thousands of star destroyers in Rise of Skywalker, uh, because it's got to make sense, right? Logically, that would. <laughs> It's kind of crazy that I like it. <laughs> it's true though. They need a lot of pilots. They need a lot of pilots. Spice. It could be spice. Thrones dinner. Or oh, diner, not dinner. I don't. That doesn't even make sense for the cargo, but I'm running it on the board anyway. She wants to get back and open a diner. Thrawn's done it. Sorry, there we go. That makes sense. That's why he's. That's why he's so. That's why he's so urgent to get back. That's all the equipment, actually. That's all the food. Uh, he was just getting supplies for the, his diner. He wants to open up. So that's just the supplies for the diner. Are we carrying a general grievous clone army. <laughs> Spice. Bethron and the Empire rem uh, remits disgusting Mando. <sighs> Can you send the message again? I don't know. I don't know where it is. Where did you say it? How far? Like how long ago was it? Oh, got it. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Uh, don't forget, Amanda, there is a bunch of old Empire generals and other waiting for his return. He'll have plenty of ships and troops, etc. to waiting. You know what? I was thinking about this just before. I was like, I want to re-watch that episode of Mando uh, and go through that conversation. Because I think now seeing Thrawn and where he's at and then hearing that conversation with Mando might make more sense to us. I don't know. But good pickups in. I'm glad I did go find that. That's a good, that's a good addition. Thank you. Appreciate it. There it is. There it is. Appreciate you. Thrawn's Diner. Would it not just be Thrawn's Diner? Like Dex's Diner? Or what's a restaurant for, we can make for Thrawn? Um, Blue Boys Eatery. There you go. Just the cheap. Your breakfast concept with a southern western twist. <laughs> Yeah, I want to go back and watch that. That'll be interesting to, to see what they say in there. And, like, compare it to what we know now of Thrawn. That accurate. He's looking for Gary the Stormtrooper. Talion's got to be so hyped. That's so true. Thrawn's prawns. Oh, my God. Actually, funny you say that. I literally said that to... Was that my mum or something? Of, like, how to thr pronounce Thrawn. Actually, I've got a very funny story about that. Um... But I was like, it's it's thrawn, like prawn. Actually, I think it was my dad. Be like, it's thrawn, like prawn. You're like, ah. Oh. 
Brendel Hux in the Remnant meeting. Uh, so Thrawn could actually be laying the foundations for the First Order. That would be interesting. It'd be interesting if, like... <sighs> I don't have the most full understanding of canon at the moment. But it'd be cool if, like, Thrawn was actually really planning... And, and gets the new galaxy. He's building this whole new empire. But he is killed by someone. Maybe, like, Luke or Ahsoka. But then... The other generals, like Brendel Hux and all that, uh, take over it after he dies, and then that turns into the First Order. Because I don't think the style of everything, Thrawn would have made it like the way the First Order is, but I can't... What do you, you guys think of that? It's like he's making this big army, and then he gets knocked off, so all the other generals just have to kind of, like, keep it going. I don't know. It would, that would be a cool tie -in. That would be a cool tie-in, uh, said you like it. Red Eyes and Rip Eyes, a galactic steakhouse. <laughs> oh, for sure. You know, it's his, you know it's his art collection. You know it's his, like, statues and his hot toys in there. <laughs> Ron's chicken and waffles. Perhaps he's waiting for the written. Yeah, I think Ron needs to get back to, like, help do everything and then but he gets knocked off maybe in the probably in the movie he gets killed in the movie <laughs> Funko Pop. it's just crates and crates of Funko Pops that'll be Julie that'll be Julie if she had to move house just having all these crates and crates uh, full of Funko Pops Paleon yeah yeah I, are you Lauren I yeah but you Lauren wasn't alive that's a good that's a good pickup Apo I forgot about that <laughs> I mixed Commander and Apo and I said Capo that's really funny Th Thranko Pops. Thranko Pops. Oh, I love it. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Anyway, let's leave that up there. I'm trying to tuck back in. <clears throat> tuck back in. Um, like, what are your thoughts? This one is going to be the setup for what will be the first order. The name will be mentioned in the movie. Yes. It'll, you know what? It, okay, here we go. Here we go. Theory time. Sit down. Wait for this. Listen to this. What if Thrawn returns to the the normal galaxy, the galaxy we know of? Uh, he he teams up with his buddies again, and he creates his army called Thrawn's Order, and that is what's kind of semi around. It's not super open out of the open for now, but that's kind of what he's building. It's called Thrawn's Order. Then, in the in the Dave Filoni movie, Thrawn get, he gets killed in the end of the movie, and the other guys are like, "What do we do with this Thrawn's army? Thrawn's not here. Oh, sorry, Thrawn's Order. Thrawn's not here to 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 helm be at the helm of this order." And then Paleon or someone, Brendel Hux is like, "You know what?" Let us call it the First Order. Thrawn's Order, what do you think? I don't know, I'm kind of going out of limb on that one. <sighs> Why did I try to talk deep when you guys are still going, still, you're still on uh, Thrawn food? <laughs> Thrawn chis burgers? <laughs> That's actually quite clever. Chis filet. <gasps> oh my days. Yeah, actually, was that? I think that was DB. DB, I think it was you that commented saying, uh, "Yeah, that was Akbar." And I, I saw it a little later on, on on Twitter. People saying that was Akbar, and I was like, "Oh my shit, that's no way." So, but yeah, yeah, I totally didn't realize why Akbar was sitting next to the center douchebag during the the hearing. Oh, so I love that we've all now just it is that is his name. He's center douchebag. I love it. So great. I love that we're all on the same page with that uh, during the hearing. Yeah, how cool. Got a got a boy. It's a trap. Um, Thrawn is going to go into hiding after getting back. We'll see Mana and Grogu working for Carson, looking for him. Ooh. That could be a thing, now that Gideon's gone. Perhaps. Perhaps. Sin City! I'm so scared to make sure this is okay. $10 redos from Master Sin. 
What have you got for my champion? Uh, I want to throw on immediately search for Palps or Palps clone. Uh, his rank and level of trust from Palps or every other Empire rank, he'd know where uh, where or how to find him. I don't think he would know how to find Palpatine. He could probably figure it out, but I don't. I don't think um, he would like just know like oh I just got to like take a ride at the end of the road. Like I, I don't think he would know. But I definitely think that would be actually a really cool story uh, to see. If Thrawn could find... And maybe, you know, he loves his he loves his artifacts. Something with, you know that... This always actually baffled me a little bit with Rise of Skywalker. Like, we had that opening scene of, like, the Sith holocron. And, like, that's how Ben finds him. No, ben? Who, who took that? Ben? Kylo? Whatever. Um... God, I haven't watched those movies in so long. And, like, I wonder if... What if Thrawn found that holocron, like, years and years before, and then he put it in this, like, sacred place? Anyway, random thought. Uh, but thank you for the $10 redos, Master Sin. Appreciate you. Not all Mon Calamari... <laughs> Not all Mon Calamari look the same, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know if I can say that on stream, but here we are. Yeah, I'm loving Carson. Are we we all loving Carson. He's so such such a chill guy. So he's so cool. They will enlist the Mandalorians to help defeat Thrawn. Ooh, that'd be you know what? That'd be a, that'd be sick. Just that premise drone would be sick for the movie. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. The Wayfinder. Was it Seth Holocron? Why do I think it was a Wayfinder? No, sorry, but other way around. But you know what I mean? This around the wrist screams. <laughs> yeah, 100%. 100%. Uh, I feel what you're saying about Thrawn, but I think his ultimate defeat uh, would uh, be to remain stuck away from what he can control. Oh, okay. So, Exiled One. Pun in, that's a great... Your name's, like, in what we're talking about. I like that. Um, do you think he'll stay in the current galaxy? As in, the like, the new one we're in? Uh, you think he'll stay there? He won't escape at all? Uh, do you think Thrawn tried to reach out to the Emperor, Emperor via the Night Sisters, Night Sisters, or did it have to be a sister to sister connection? Ooh, that's a good question. Well, if it was before Episode Seven, I would have said it has to be sister to sister. But it was very cool magic to see uh, the mothers use, however they did it, the magic to sense and find where Ahsoka was. That was interesting. So it's like. Maybe the knights, just the, maybe the mothers, it, the powerful mothers, these three. I wonder if there's more. It's very interesting. These three mothers could use their magic to, to help Thrawn. Maybe they, they go along with Thrawn everywhere and they, they help. Um, they help find Palps for, for Thrawn. That's a cool, that's a cool thought lining. Lightning Slug, I just realized. How have I not noticed? I have just freaking realized that your profile picture is a is a strike of lightning, and that's a freaking shadow of a slug. Oh my god! How have I how have I not known that? It's a lightning and a slug. I thought I thought that I obviously knew it was lightning, but I thought the slug was um I thought it was someone doing like a handstand. Or like someone with their hands in the air. I don't know. <laughs> I've just, I've just put that together. That is so smart. Oh my god. Uh, John coming in with a two dollar redos. You betcha. You betcha. You can't beat it. Can't beat it. Um. Anyway. Question. Uh, who do we love more, Carson or Huang? Ooh. Oh, that's hard. Probably Huang, just by a little bit. He's he's very funny. I find him very very funny. Hey, Jada Jen. Great to see you here. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we <we're waiting> to... <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. Wait. Seth and Kyle thought this too. It was. A, it looked. It kind of looked like a handstand. For sure. For sure. Star guys, right? They're really like that. They're, they're 100 like that. We should do a poll. I'll do a poll. Who do we like more? Who do... but I feel bad pinning these two characters together, but because they're both really lovable. I. They're, they're not really. They're not really like negative guys, but well. Um. Ask anyway, who do you like more? Hu Yang. The only 
reason, um, I mean, this is goes without saying. I mean, a lot of us know that Thrawn's probably going to have some sort of an attempt of at escaping, because uh, the 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 one shot we have from the trailers is that he's on the bridge of the Eye, on si- the Eye of Sion. He's on the bridge and he's like looking out and he's like, oh. and it, and because that came from the sh- the shot of the the back of his head. Um, so we're still got to see that. And uh, Julie coming in with a big, big generous dono uh, with a twenty dollar dues. Thank you so much, Julie, coming in. Oh my God, Sith Daddy, I had to beat you today. Just saying, Kane is the best Jedi, and I will leave you be. Oh, the fight's gonna happen. It's gonna go down. Uh, but damn, Julie, sending the big subies today. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for the encouragement. It supports me. It keeps me going here. Thank you so much. Chewing does be riot. <laughs> it's good, eh? It's daddy. Yeah, I, they're both really enjoyable, aren't they? I feel like Theron's greatest defeat would be to remain in exile. Actually, you know what? I can kind of... That would be kind of cool if, um, like, he... He kind of beats everyone, and he's trying, and he goes to escape, and then the Eye of Sion, like, breaks down. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So it's like, he's on the bridge of that. So it's like, that kind of means he's going to attempt a bit, a bit, likely exa- exiled one, saying, imagine if he, if it, like, doesn't work or something. Like, <laughs> lightning handstand, right? Uh, I, yeah, I can't believe I didn't know that before. Okay, let me see this poll. What do you got, what do you got for me? What do you got for me? 28 votes. Come on. Get your votes in. There's 63 of you here. What are the 40 other of you doing? I often wonder that. There's probably only about 15 of you actually actively in, in the chat right here. What are the other, like, 50 of you doing? And what, like, am I just on, like, a TV and you're, like, in, in like, I don't know, on, on the couch or, like, on, on your computer, on your office, in your office, like, working, eating, making something? What are you guys doing? That's hilarious. Why you, you don't have to comment, but I just always I always wonder what the rest what is the rest of them doing. Love it. Appreciate you being here though. Anyway, uh, thirty two votes in the chat. Uh, seven almost seventy seventy uh, percent saying Huang. I could have called that. I could kind of vibe that. Um, but fair enough. Thrun always loses. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually, but it's it's better when it's spread out. You know what I mean. <laughs> See, I told you it was going to go down. Sin City coming in with another five dollar dues. Okay, Julie, Kanan is the best Jedi named Kanan. <gasps> Come on, man. <laughs> Who's blind and in Rebels Ghost Crew? Oh, come on, Sin. Come on. Jeez. Thank you for the donor, though. Appreciate it. Look, it's gonna look. I love it. Robert, just watch it. Oh, okay, I love it. I love it. Appreciate it. Kind of like it. Um, did you have any thoughts? Ha- have any thought at the back of your head when she'd turned to Ahsoka? You wanted her to join them. I know I was screaming for it. Were you screaming for it? I wasn't. I wasn't fully on board. I like. I actually don't think I'm on board at all right now. I don't think I want Shin to turn at all. I want her to be the bad guy. I think she's a good bad guy or girl. Good bad lady. bad lady yeah um canon's actual name is caleb and caleb's actual name is indioda fair enough uh also ezra fighting with only the force is dope as yeah right loved it i know like i, I kind of get the whole oh is your demon saber like yeah like like yes it's cool seeing he it would be very very cool to see the saber again and i really hope next episode he does actually wield maybe canons or something uh, but, um, yeah, I'm with you on this. I thought it was really cool. Cool, a very cool use of the force. I'm a big, you know, I wanted more force things and this show was given it so much. So yeah, I, I really like it. You've been lurking. Oh my God. That's so illegal. Oh my God. Sin City. Whew. Uh, she did, uh, she did hesitate when Ahsoka offered, uh, to help Shin. Just saying, Was it a hesitation or was it just kind of going, really? I don't know. I don't know. I'm negative about this. I'm like, I don't want I don't want to join. Congrats! 
For what? What have I done? I haven't done anything, have I? No, I don't remember doing anything. <laughs> what did I do? Oh, I hope after what happened uh, in Thrawn Order Retreat, leaving Shin to fend for herself and she would go back to Valen. Maybe. Maybe that will put, bring them back together. That'll be interesting. Very, very interesting. Hey, Max. Have we talked about Ezra being an airbender? <laughs> That's kind of funny, but uh, we I like the I like the force use. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. That Hera is in the clear. Will we see her again in the season? <sighs> Maybe not. I, like if they don't really show us what happens if anyone, Thrawn or whoever, gets back to the old galaxy, I don't think we'll see her again. Yeah, it's, it's probably true. It's probably true, Julie. I like when Ahsoka faced Shin, that she never even drew her lightsaber. I feel the potential for the Shin character to have some longevity in the franchise. I definitely feel that. I definitely, you know, it doesn't like, it doesn't feel like her story ends here. I feel like there's a lot more to understanding her purpose. I agree with that. Oh my god, o OJ, you're pranking. You're pranking, OJ. Don't, no one listen to OJ right now. Uh, Sith of Mordor, uh, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure uh, Thrawn will escape uh, to the, back to the normal universe, uh, while the rest will have to figure out how to get back. Probably Ezra will summon the Purple. That'll be cool. Actually, that will, might be a bit of a, de a, a felony. Um, Thrawn, Thrawn gets away with his Eye of Sion, and um, the my last moment, everyone's like, oh no, the characters are stuck. And then Ezra will like, and like summon all the people to come. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Should have staying around, you reckon? <laughs> Shin's purpose to be a baddie. True. True. Oh my god, AJ. Amazing Steve. We'll catch it. We'll catch you next time. Such, what is such thing? I'm glad that uh, Ezra fighting with the Force, but I felt like it could have made it felt like a bit more impactful. Force pushes he was doing were not that forceful uh, at all compared to the stuff we've seen in shows and games. Yeah, that's true, but, 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 I agree with that. But I feel like if he was really powerful, everyone would be like, he's too powerful. That's like, he's, he's, he's OP. Like, I feel like everyone would be complaining that he's too powerful. But I kind of, but I actually agree with you. I, he could have been more ferocious. Like, I felt like he should have been more easy about it. Just like, like, yeah, he probably could have done it a little easier, maybe. Do I think Ezra might be going back? Mm, we'll see. We'll see. Julie agreeing with Sag on that one. Nothing magical about the force pushes. Yeah. Um, um, there's probably some logical answer I could come up with that of like, oh, the Purgle... It, they haven't been the right Purgle. Like, the Purgle Ahsoka talk. Like, they were waiting for Ahsoka because they knew or something. There's some. There's probably some reason I could give there. But, yeah. That's, uh, but that's actually a good perspective. Yeah. That's true. I mean, but he, he started with it. He started with this uh, blaster, I guess. The blaster saber. Bla the blaster saber. The blaster saber. Um, I can almost guarantee we see the Ghost Crew reunited, including Zeb, in the finale last scene. Ahsoka promised to bring Sabine and Ezra back. That's true. That would be very sweet. It would be very, very sweet. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can make anything happen. Um, I thought he got to take away by the he got take away by the space whales though. Yeah, but they but they took him to some like they didn't kill him. You know what I mean? I don't know. Not to be that crazy, but at least I'll launch him like 20 feet and give them some airtime. I think could be, uh, I think we'll get crazy next week though when he has to fight against magic. Yeah, probably. Hope hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, OJ, what the hell? Are you in a trolling mood, OJ, today? God damn it. Blazer. Yeah, Blase no, Blasaber. Is there a name for his gun saber thing he made? I don't think so. I don't think so. That's no Ezra. <laughs> That's no moon. That's no Ezra. I love it. I love it. Um, but anyway, let's get into it. Final thoughts. I never have the banners up. Let me get the banners up. Final thoughts. It's 
see, all those that were like, you didn't like this episode, it did, it did, it did give us a lot of, to question. There's a lot of things to question in this. You know what I mean? I feel like it, open, it opens up the conversation, this episode, because everyone's in an interesting spot. Like, Balin has split, and he's gone off to do his thing. Shin, like, went to attack, but then kind of hesitated of joining Ahsoka. Thrawn is, like, not pleased with Morgan. Um, the Night Sister, we got, saw, got to see more mother magic. Love it. See? A little bit happened. It has to be at least 50 minutes. Yeah, I hope it's a long one. Purgle gonna purgle till you find the right ones. Yeah, true. Purgle gonna they're gonna purgle. Purgle gonna purgle. <laughs> You're so negative, Sin. <gasps> oh, the fact that Ahsoka took him took an entire episode to travel in space, uh, travel in space world. There is no way they get uh, back that way. And with uh, Thrawn's slow walk in the preview of the Iron Sun, the heroes aren't on it. That's true. It's true. He's on it. But who else is? Maybe they sneak on. That'd be cool. Balin has easily become a favorite character. So shitty Stevenson passed away. Absolutely. Incredibly sad. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. At least 50. I'm going to say at least 50 for me. But yeah, like, a, like an hour would be amazing. Amazing. Just waiting for Ezra to introduce his turtle baby to the rest of the crew. His his turtle baby? Uh, but fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, have we get to see Thrawn show off his military capabilities next week and destroy some new Republic vessels? Uh, yeah, I hope so. There's been good build up to that. You know, there's a lot of, you know, the little map and he's talking about a bit of the game plan and Morgan's like, but why? And he's like, well, it's obvious. And it's like, there's, there's some good build up to it. So it would be cool to see him really execute that genius he has yeah everyone's loving everyone's loving Balin really cool character great very well acted such a great actor so so cool oh Jesus uh, I don't think we will I hope we do I hope we do your friend got to play a Tuscan Raider and Boba dude how have you not mentioned this before that is sick that is so cool that is like the best storyline I love it Uh, I'm going to tear up for sure for the epic end we're going to get. Uh, and that is to be a while till next Star Wars anything. True. True. But, I mean, you'll hear all about it next week. But the things, the, the things, my friends, I have planned. The, the Ahsoka depression will, will hit. But we're still going to keep the, the fun, the connectivity, the, the discussions, the whiteboards. It's going to continue to be an epic time here at the channel. So we're going to be sad that it's over. But don't feel like there's nothing more to look forward to. Because the shows here are just going to get better and better. Uh, so next week, make sure. Where's the little... Oh, I didn't put it in the, in the show notes. Hang on. Bear with me. Next week. Just uploading. Hang on. There we go. Next week, uh, we are going to be having another two-hour countdown special uh, for the finale. So starting at 4 p.m. Pacific time, 7 p.m. What? Uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time. There we go. Uh, take two. Uh, we are going to be going live, a two-hour countdown. We'll watch the episode together and we'll have an extra long, extra discussion-y uh, thoughts of initial reactions to the episode. And then, of course, uh, that following Thursday... Uh, we'll have our very last uh, episode 8 Ahsoka finale discussion. But make sure you were there for the Tuesday countdown watch party. It's going to be lots of fun. We're going to have lots happening again. Uh, it's going to be a great, great time. You don't want to miss it. Don't you dare think about it. Don't you dare think about it. So set your alarms. Set your uh, clocks back. No, don't set them back. Just set an alarm, actually. Uh, <laughs> we'll be going live having... Lots of fun with this special show. Bad Batch is three. That is actually something I'm kind of <laughs> keen for, actually. 
It's a good time. It's a good time, isn't it? Kyle will be there. Who's who's gonna be there? That's a good. Let's do a rank call of who who's gonna make it next Tuesday. Who's gonna be there? I think we're gonna get back to the main galaxy for circuit from wins. The end of cliffhanger. Yeah, it could be. It could be true. You know what? I actually am super about that. I actually am really keen for this sin. I kind of like that. Oh, we love you, Master Kyle. We we're gonna be having a another exclusive, uh, just a little bit of a Masters hangout, which. I'll hit you up about afterwards. Will we have a good time? Have a good time. No, the, no com yeah, come on. Come on, Dub. Come on, Dub. Yeah, one's in the chat. Who's going to be the next Tuesday? One's in the chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know why I said that, OJ. Don't listen to me there. <laughs> oh, appreciate you, Darth Nicholas. See, isn't it epic that even, you know, you guys are saying, oh, I don't like this, I don't like that. You know, uh, you know, I don't like that thing. And other people saying, I love this thing. It's still a good time. We're all Star Wars fans. There's no point just getting torn up about it. Landing Handstand will be there. Uh, awesome, Julie. I might heal you up. Also, rest first. I want you to take care of yourself first. And then, uh, <laughs> hit me up when you want to discuss that. But we can, we can absolutely get that going. Uh, yeah. 100%. 100%. Although, yeah. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, do it. Do it. It's so close. It's yet so far. Right? Right? Actually, General Kenobi, does, it, does that mean you're an Aussie like me? Because we, we get it Wednesdays, but all the, all the Americans get it Tuesday. But we get it Wednesday. That's okay, Kirsty. <laughs> I I set set your alarm. Set your alarm. I love it. Maybe we, we might we might see a, a Rayarm Purgle giveaway. Uh, no, I, I meant to say I meant to say appearance. I don't know why I said giveaway. Uh, Clam Cakes will be there, of course. Gotta love it. DB will be there. Tim will be there. Oh, I can't wait. I can't. Wait, that Queenslander. Do I forget? Have you told me that before? I just keep forgetting. I don't know. I don't know. Um, all right. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, thank you so much for chatting along today. A little bit of a shorter one. Only 125. That's, a, that's I mean, that's, that's good enough, right? Good enough, right? Uh, but appreciate you hanging out, chatting, going a little wild, slipping some naughty jokes in there, uh, and having a good time with our big thoughts on the whiteboard as well. Make sure you have a great rest of the week. Enjoy your weekend. It's going to be a good time. And we are less than a week away from a, a week of fun and a celebration of this show. I can't wait to see you there. But until then, make sure you always choose the race up. It's like that meme. Do the roar. <laughs> Do the roar. Like my kid in Shrek. <laughs> yeah. Do the roar. <laughs> you gotta earn the roar, boys. <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna see me do it without the without the um thing? Like do you wanna see my face when I do it? I gotta, I gotta like wait for it at the right moment. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 <laughs>